Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is Greg from The Dapper Man. I'm actually here today to do a uh, a uh, Scotch review. As I've told you before, I got this Glenmorang uh, sampler set uh, for my birthday several months ago. Today, I decided I am going to open up and review the Glenmorang uh, Quinta Rubin. Hope we can all see that. Now a little bit about uh, about this scotch. I actually have some notes here from the uh, from the Glimmering website. As most of you know, I don't have a very in-depth palette when it comes to scotches, at least for the taste of scotch. I can tell you if I like it, if I don't like it, and maybe some of the top notes. But um, as for a lot of the details, I can't taste them. So let me tell you what. Uh, what Glenmorang says about them. Uh, they say, and I, of course I wrote them down so I could actually uh, be a little accurate, actually be accurate for you. Glenmorang, uh, the Quinta Rubin is the darkest, most intense in the line of their extra mature uh, scotches. It has been aged 10 years in American oak, and then it is aged again in ruby port pipes, either from Quintus or Portugal. So it has a very voluptuous uh, spirit and it's a very complex blend between sweet and dry flavors. And it is non chill filtered to give it extra aroma and mouthfeel. Now, as for the aroma, uh, Glimmering says it has a dark mint chocolate, tangerines, Seville oranges, and it has uh, also a and a little bit of sandalwood, almonds, and a finish of pepper and nutmeg. So actually, I hope I can actually taste anything beyond the uh, mint and chocolate. I really do hope I can taste some of that uh, nutmeg and some of the almonds, but uh, I'll, I won't know until I actually try it. As for the taste, most of it is the mint chocolate and walnut. Uh, it also envelops the palate like velvet with undertones of rose, Turkish delight, and orange. And according to their website, it is a long finish with mint, chocolate, and oranges. So, let's go ahead and just open this up. And we'll go ahead and take a uh, sniff. Come on. There we go. I hope everybody's having a fantastic evening, or morning, or day, or whatever, whatever time it is. There we go. While I'm opening this up, <clears throat> I want to remind you that it is still No Shave November. Please uh, go to the link below and join the Dapper Man's No Shave team. You can go ahead and just join the team. You don't have to make a donation if you don't want to, but we are doing a contest so that if you... Uh... Ooh, that looks like a... Ooh, a little more. If you join the Dapper Man No Shave November team... Uh, either follow us on Facebook or YouTube and post some videos or pictures of you growing your beard for No Shave November. You will be entered into a contest, and Mrs. Dapper Man will choose three people at the end of the month to get uh, Dapper Man beard oil and beard balm. So, there we go. Hopefully you can see that. It's a very deep uh, amber. Uh, uh, nothing yet for the nose. Hmm. Uh, you know, some scotches, you get that really intense alcohol. Uh, you don't get that with this. I do actually get uh, some of the mint. I was clearing up my sinuses quite well. That's good. Let's take a look. It's uh, not coating the glass like I would expect. Not a lot of leg on here. Some of the others, you just really coat the glass with all that oil. <laughs> Excuse me. Now we're getting the mint. A um, little bit of chocolate in there. Let me uh, take a sip and I'll let you know. Definitely got a little bit of the uh, mint and chocolate. 
a little bit of a burn going down, not, uh, nothing like um, Lagavulin or anything like that. It's actually quite a short finish, I'm surprised. <clears throat> that was a little palate cleanser. Let me go ahead and take another sip for you. <coughs> still uh yeah a lot of good uh it's actually it's actually really smooth i know i'm coughing a lot but it's actually very smooth hmm. i actually do like this um it's definitely not as minty or as chocolate chippy as chocolate chip or chocolatey as that uh still house whiskey that i uh did uh my last review on it's actually pretty good uh still quite a short uh i still think it's quite a short uh finish though Definitely getting a lot of the uh, pepper. Yeah, a little bit of pepper. Well, I don't want to say a lot. A little bit of pepper. Uh, a lot of mint. Some chocolate. It's actually not bad. <clears throat> um, I think I prefer one of the others uh, over this. And again, this is just a sampler. But I, I think I like the, uh, the Lasanta better. So, but I'll keep giving this a shot. It's definitely not my uh, Lagavulin or Laphroaig. Um, I love that extra peaty stuff. And so, a black bottle was also a good uh, blended um, scotch. This is single malt. So, I like it. It's I don't know if I would... Uh, I mean, if somebody gave me a bottle, obviously I'll drink it. I don't know if I'd go out and buy a bottle myself. Mainly because, again, I like that extra peaty stuff. And if I want some mint chocolate chip, I still have some of that uh, Stillhouse whiskey. We actually made some um, hot chocolate toddies uh, with that the other day. Um, it's good. If you like mint chocolate chip stuff, you don't want the overpowering mint chocolate chip of the still, uh, yeah, the Stillhouse, definitely give this a shot. A little more left in the glass, might as well finish it. <coughs> Again, I know I'm coughing. It's that uh, vapor. As soon as you swallow, it just tickles the back of my throat. Definitely some pepper. Definitely some mint. Definitely some chocolate. Actually, it's not bad, you know. After, uh, you know, I'll have another taste. But again, if I don't want uh, a lot of the overpowering of the chocolate of the Mando still house, this isn't uh, a bad option. So you can go ahead and uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe and turn on the little notification buttons down at the bottom to make sure you get notified when I post videos. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter um, and Pinterest as the Dapper Man US. You can also find us on the dapperman.org. Everything goes on the website first and then everything gets just, you know, pointed out everywhere else uh, but yeah follow us and like i said go ahead and grow your beard uh win the uh beard oil and beard bomb uh from the dapper man at the end of the month and uh i hope you have a fantastic well, again whatever is left of your day i hope you have a good one thank you bye